Hey guys, I just wanted to share with you a heatless uh, curls tutorial. I found this online and thought it was a really cool idea. Um, if you are on my Facebook or Instagram, you'll know that I just recently did a headband heatless overnight curl um, look with my hair and I was thinking about doing another tutorial for that. I had a few people ask me how I did it, what I used. Um, with this one, um, I wanted to try it and I decided while I was trying it, I might as well just film it. So what you want to do is you want to start with out with um, partially damp hair. And I just got out of the shower so don't mind my makeupless face. Um, just got out of the shower and I blow, I put some mousse in my hair just to kind of give it a little bit more thickness, tackiness, um, and to help it kind of hold the curl a little bit better. And then um, I blow dried my hair just so it was just barely wet. So I mean it's still damp but it's not like dripping wet but it's not completely dry either. You can either do this just after you get out of the shower, you can let, let your hair air dry, or if your hair is already dry, you can just spritz it with a water bottle. You just want it kind of damp because we're going to be twisting it, and if your hair is too wet, then the air isn't going to dry it, so it's not really going to work that well. So you just want to make sure your hair is barely damp. So what I did from there was I took my hair and I parted it all the way down. And so there's two sections and I don't care about it being in a straight line I just wanted it parted and it's gonna be curly anyways no one's gonna know if it was a straight line or not I don't think it's that big of a deal um, so once you have your uh, two sections of hair what I'm gonna do is I'm going to section them off again in half because the one I saw the girl just left it like this and then the back of her hair right here was really straight and then super curly and I just want it all curly so I'm gonna feel the part I'm gonna split it in half again right behind my ear so we're gonna have now two more sections so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a hair tie and tie this back part off so that I don't pull any hair from that section and then I'm going to section off and just hair tie on this side too. Okay, so we have three things going on right now. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna scoot a little closer. Um, we are going to start like a French braid, but it's gonna be a twist. So it's gonna be what's called a twist braid and twist this front hair away from my face and as I'm twisting I'm going to add a little twist into it. So I'm going to twist this and then wrap it around. So now that we've done two, you're going to take this bottom piece, add some hair, sure that your twists are really really tight so that you get those nice curls otherwise they're gonna just be kind of limpy and floppy so we're just gonna go and continue to add hair until we get to the nape of the neck So at this point, 
I don't have any hair left to brag and bring over, so I'm just going to keep twisting. And I'm going to keep it really tight. And we're twisting away from the face. So then, once I get down here, I'm going to wrap this into a bun. And then we're going to rubber band this. And it's just gonna look like that. So if you're nervous about it coming out in your sleep, um, you could take more rubber bands and just kinda secure it on there. Because this is going to be, you want to make sure this is really tight and wrapped around really good because this is going to be the part that could come out and fall out. Um, so just make sure that's on there really tight. So now that we've got our first section done, we're going to go ahead and move on to this back section. And we're just going to do the exact same thing that we did with this first section here. We're going to twist twice and then add hair and keep twisting. that's how you do this don't I look fabulous so we've got one Okay, so I am going to go to bed now, and I will be back in the morning and take it out and see what happens. I've never done this before, I just saw somebody do it, so it's a first for both of us. All of us. Alright, I will see you in the morning. sure why but I just don't feel good at all um so I did my hair last night in these twist braids and I finished them about 7 45 so my hair has been up like this for just under 12 hours and it looks awesome so the buns stayed pretty well last night and I've been trying to feel them and it's really cold in my house so I'm not sure if they're, I think they're just cold, I don't think they're wet, but anyways, so again, um, like you just saw, I did the twist braids, I did four different sections and I had mousse in my hair and my hair was really damp so yeah I guess let's just take him out and see what happens like I said this is my first time doing this so I'm not sure what the result will be on my hair 
but I saw some girl do it with super long thick hair and it turned out really pretty so I'm hoping my hair is not near as long as hers hers was like down to her belly button it's such a weird word belly button okay, okay the rubber bands are out so Okay, so that's what the first one looks like. Um, it's kind of ratty up here. I mean, it's not amazing as if I'd use my Conair Infinity Wand, but I don't know. Let's see. So, these are really uncomfortable to sleep on. I'm not saying that you shouldn't try it. I mean, it takes like five minutes, so why not? And hers probably turned out way different. She had really long, really thick hair. And she said she'd also been wearing her hair like this for years, so she probably, yeah. See, this is the, where the rubber band was. Because that's pretty. So I did put mousse in my hair, and my hair does still feel damp which is pretty crazy considering my hair was up like that for almost 12 hours but I don't know I don't know if it's just because my house is really cold or my hair was too damp or because of the mousse is probably a combination of all three but And then this is what it looks like from the front. Which, I mean, for the curls, God, my bangs are a mess. Look at that. <laughs> um, so, I mean, the curls aren't too bad. Um, I have my hair. When I air dry it, it dries and looks really greasy, so next time, I think I want to try and play around with this because that girl's hair was really, really pretty when it came out, and um, granted, I don't know if she like did something extra or whatever, she just, so that she came out of the shower, blow dried her hair until it was almost dry, which is what I did, I think I just didn't blow dry it long enough. Um, and then put it up and her curls were really really pretty but my hair tends to look a little greasy when it hair dries so I don't really like how my hair looks right now but I think I want to try and play around with it maybe try it without mousse with drier hair um, yeah I don't know I'm slightly disappointed but It is pretty cool how much it did actually curl the hair. So, anyways, so that was the Twist Braid Overnight Heatless Curls. Um, I hope it was simple enough that it made you want to try it personally. Um, again, the girl also did only two sections, not four. So, um, 
maybe I'll try that as well. I just know that the back of her hair was completely straight, like a good five, six inches of it were really straight and then it curled whereas up here was all curly. So I just thought doing it in smaller sections, four sections instead of two might even it out and make it look a little better but maybe I was wrong. So yeah, I'm gonna try it out a couple of different ways and when I find one that actually works and looks really pretty, um, I'll make another video of it and share it with you. So I hope your guys' day is wonderful and thank you so much for watching. If you like these hair tutorials, um, I have another one in mind. It is a heatless headband overnight curls tutorial. I like it much better than this one personally at the moment. Um, if you'd like to see that, again, it's super quick, super easy, and it gives you really nice curls in the morning. Um, just let me know down below. And like, comment, subscribe to uh, see more videos. And I thank you so much for watching. Okay, so I just wanted to pop in really quick. Um, after I finished the end that you just saw, um, I went into my bathroom and I finished blow drying my hair so that it wasn't damp and I was really rough with it, just throwing my hair around, flipping it, just pulling the curls apart and um, the result actually isn't that bad, it's not amazing, but it's workable. And this is how it came out. This is really, really close actually to my natural curly hair, except that this part is now curled. Normally, for whatever reason, this part of my hair is always completely straight and then I have all these crazy curls. So this is really, really close to what my natural hair looks like curly anyways, but um, I'll show you what the back of it looks like. And uh, I call it the Harry Potter Year One Hermione Granger hair. That's what it reminds me of. How her hair was super curly and just poof it up, unkempt. Well, that's what this reminds me of. Which sucks. I will put the link to the original video that I saw down below, and you guys can see um, what hers looked like and why I'm kind of disappointed that mine didn't turn out that way. Again, I think it might have had something to do with the fact that I split it in two so the curls up here were much shorter or smaller and tighter and my hair isn't near as long as hers. She probably had an additional um, six to ten inches on my hair, um, which is I mean, it's a good length. So, I don't know, I just kind of wanted to show you what the final product was after I put a blow dryer to it and just kind of toss a little bit around. So yeah, um, I will end this video again with just let me know if you like these kind of videos, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in my next video.